Hi, welcome back to the Network Essential series. Today, let's learn some keynotes about load balancing and its most common configuration types. The best way to understand load balancing is by comparing them to traffic jams, which might be all too familiar to some of you already. Typically, traffic jams happen when too many vehicles try to reach the same destination simultaneously using a single road. But to reduce the jam, not the one for the sandwich with peanut butter, cities lay multiple lanes in busy streets. These additional lanes help distribute the number of vehicles in the roads and thus reduce congestion, allowing vehicles to reach the same destination faster and smoother. Load balancing serves the exact same purpose as additional lanes in busy city streets do. It also helps you distribute the traffic. Only this traffic is all about data packets that get distributed between LAN and WAN networks in both directions. Load balancing in your networking devices can be implemented in many ways, but for the purposes of this video, let's focus on two fundamental configurations, round robin and weighted round robin. Round robin is the least complex configuration. It enables distributing data packets, connections and requests across all available interfaces in a cyclical manner. Keep in mind that round robin doesn't consider the size of your data package or the capacity of each interface. Weighted round robin regulates your network's throughput by distributing your data packets or connections traffic across multiple WAN interfaces based on assigned ratios. These ratios enable you to make one interface more data capable than the other. Usually, interfaces with higher ratios receive more traffic than those with lower ratios. While round-robin treats all interfaces equally, the weighted round-robin configuration allows you to manually adjust the ratios of traffic capacity each interface can uphold. We hope this helped you get acquainted with load balancing and its two fundamental configuration types. If you want to delve deeper into this topic or get to know more advanced load balancing configuration types, make sure to let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content. See you!